Field crop production requires diesel fuel to till, plant, spray, and harvest. It also takes energy to dry the crop, if grain, or to refrigerate, if produce. The Farm Energy Answers web series has covered energy issues concerning grain drying and refrigeration. But can you also lower energy costs for field operations? The good news is that this is an area where a few changes can result in sizable savings in both fuel and time. We are going to focus on four methods to reduce fuel use per acre. Ballasting to reduce wheel slip, increasing fuel efficiency with a technique called gear up, throttle back, reducing tillage depth, and minimizing the amount of tillage. Anytime you're using a tractor, you can save fuel by paying attention to wheel slippage. Excessive wheel slippage not only wastes power, it increases time in the field. New tractors equipped with GPS have slippage calculators built into the tractor's computer system so it can be checked while performing field operations. Wheel slippage is affected by the axle weight distribution and tire pressure. Ballasts such as wheel weights, loaded tires, and suitcase weights are used to change the weight distribution on the tractor axles to reduce wheel slippage. But carrying an excess of ballast will cause increased rolling resistance, extra fuel use, and can increase soil compaction. That is why the ideal amount of wheel slippage is not zero. The range is between 8 and 16 percent on tilled soil. The correct tire pressure is important for carrying the load and transferring tractor power to the soil. The weight of the tractor and load being carried, tire size, type of operation, and soil type all affect what the tire pressure should be. Check your tractor's operator's manual or the tire manufacturer's website for recommended tire pressures. And so depending on the weight would dictate the pressure that we're using in those tires. Tire pressure alone can save up to 5% in fuel costs. Someone farming a thousand acres could save $310 just by checking tire pressure regularly. By also correcting ballast, the savings could more than double to total $1,030 per 1,000 acres. Tractor fuel efficiency can be optimized by first choosing a tractor that best matches and implements power requirements. If you have several tractors to choose from, using the small tractor for small jobs will save money on fuel. And remember to gear up and throttle back when doing light drawbar tasks. While planting, raking hay, cultivating, or light tillage, the tractor can usually be shifted to a higher gear and the throttle reduced. The speed will be the same, but the engine won't need to work as hard. Testing has shown that unless a tractor has CVT transmission, gearing up and throttling down can result in fuel savings between 20 and 30 percent. The type of tillage used has a big impact on fuel costs. When corn is grown using conventional tillage and planting systems, tilling comprises almost half of the energy used. Planting, pesticide applications, and harvesting make up the other half. You can reduce fuel on conventional tillage by eliminating a primary or secondary tillage pass. Secondary tillage, on average, uses about half the amount of fuel as primary tillage. This is largely because secondary tillage implement tillage depth is about half as deep as primary techniques, and fuel use is directly related to tillage depth. When you till, do it no deeper than necessary. By changing from chisel plowing to strip till, your energy costs will be reduced by 24%. And strip tillage has the advantage that it can be done in the fall, which will help reduce operations that need to be done during the busy spring planting season. If the tillage operations are eliminated and no till planting is used, energy use will be reduced by 49%. And by eliminating the tillage operation, the savings is more than just fuel, it also reduces labor and machinery costs. As a bonus, less tilling helps reduce soil erosion. Now you may have heard that no-till planting will result in decreased yield, but studies have shown that the decrease is minimal. 
and offset by lower input costs. Often there is no difference at all. In fact, you will typically save money using no-till planting, even on the occasion that yields are slightly lower, since the cost inputs are reduced. Remember that profit, not yield, should be the driver for production decisions. So let's look at it from the perspective of costs. A negative number in the table indicates a lower cost of production compared to chisel plowing. You can see that no-till or strip tillage will reduce the production costs with a corn and soybeans rotation. For continuous corn, strip tillage showed a small savings with respect to chisel plowing, but the yield drop with no-till planting did increase production costs per bushel. The point here is not that you should never till. Tillage is a useful tool, but it doesn't need to be used every year. Tillage every five to 10 years is useful to keep fertilizer from building up on the surface in no-till operations. It can also help break cycles of soil-borne pests and diseases. We have determined the gallons used per acre to grow corn using conventional tillage, modified conventional tillage, strip tilling, and no-till. Assuming diesel is $2.50 a gallon, Let's consider what the cost savings would be on a 1,000 acre farm. Reducing the tillage depth could save about $1,900. Switching from chisel plowing to strip tillage will save about $2,500. Eliminating primary tillage could save $3,250. If all tillage was eliminated and no till planting was used, the savings in energy cost would be $5,000 plus the labor and machinery cost associated with tillage operations. By limiting tillage and paying attention to wheel slippage and tire inflation, a 1,000 acre farm has an opportunity to save $2,200 to $8,000 per year on field operations. There are many more opportunities to reduce energy use on a farm. Consider having an agricultural energy management plan done. These are a type of energy audit administered through the USDA that will cost you little out of pocket. The On-Farm Energy Initiative of the USDA Environmental Quality Incentives Program provides direct funding based on the size of your operation. For more information, contact your local farm service agency office. And check out our video on incentives available for energy efficiency upgrades.